What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a deep look at the ACS field upgrade in Modern Warfare 3, because it turns out it's actually far better than I initially expected, at least in domination in certain situations. But before we get into the aspect that I think is actually completely broken with this field upgrade, let's just break down all of the basics of what this field upgrade will do for you. And with this, the description mentioned that it's an automated computer spike that slowly captures points and temporarily hacks nearby enemy devices. And it goes on to state that the point capturing will apply to domination, hardpoint, control, and ground war. And with this field upgrade, it has a charge time of 140 seconds in team deathmatch at least. And of course, that time is cut down if you earn score, but that's just the base charge time. And when you throw it down, it will last for a total of 11 seconds. After that, it will self-destruct on you, so you can't just throw it on a point and have it hold that point for like minutes at a time or anything. And in Domination, when you throw this on the flag, it works just as if a player was on the flag. Which is interesting, because the description gives the impression that this is going to cap slower than a regular player, but that's not actually the case. You can cap a flag with an ACS alone in 10 seconds in Domination, which is exactly how long it takes if you just stand on a flag by yourself. And it's worth noting, since it acts like an additional player, if you throw the ACS down and you put yourself on the flag at the same time, you can now cap that flag in 5 seconds, just as if you had two players standing on that flag at once. So I would say this field upgrade is definitely best in Domination. However, it also works in Hardpoint, as long as the Hardpoint is already activated. If you throw this down before the Hardpoint activates, it doesn't actually work properly for you, which is a bit weird. But if that Hardpoint is active and nobody's on it, and you throw an ACS on there, it will act like a player, which frees up your team to not have to sit on the Hardpoint, because there's no benefit from having multiple people on there. And for 11 seconds, this is effectively going to act as a person on the Hardpoint. Works exactly the same in control game modes, and as they stated in Ground War, that works like the domination flags. It will act as an additional player, which will help you cap those flags and those control points faster. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out is certain objectives in the war game mode you can also capture with the ACS. So in that first section of the war map, you can actually use that to capture those points, which are kind of like control points in that Kandar hideout section. However, I did want to point out you can't use the ACS to escort the tank. It just doesn't work. You can throw it right on top of the tank and it does nothing. So there we go. That's the basics of the ACS and how it interacts with various objectives. Now let's talk about how it interacts with enemy equipment, because it does mention in the description that it will temporarily hack enemy equipment. So the obvious things that I wanted to test first are lethal and tactical equipment. And it turns out if you throw the ACS near a Claymore, Proximity Mine, C4, or Scatter Mine, it will do as it says, and it will immediately hack those pieces of equipment so they now belong to you. It's also worth noting that this will work through walls as well, as long as it's within a really close range. So if there's a Claymore on the other side of the wall, you can hack that with your ACS just by throwing it down on your side of the wall. And the most interesting thing I noticed here is it says that it temporarily hacks this equipment, but based on my testing, it permanently hacks this equipment. Even after the ACS self-destructs after that 11 seconds, that piece of equipment still belongs to you, and I waited for several minutes to see if it would change back, and it never did. So this permanently hacks enemy equipment. Now on top of this, I was curious to see what it would do against various field upgrades. And it turns out it has an interaction with six of the field upgrades currently in the game. And with this, you have the ability to hack an enemy trophy system. So you can turn that trophy system into your trophy system. However, the trophy will defend against this if you throw it within the line of sight of the trophy system. So most of the time, this isn't going to work that well unless the trophy's on the other side of a wall, for instance, which, like I said, this will work through walls, whereas trophy systems don't. But on top of that, it will hack the comm scrambler, the portable radar, and the suppression mine. So with all of those, it will just turn those into your own, just like it does with claymores, for instance. Then against an enemy ACS, if they have an ACS down and you throw your ACS next to their ACS, then they actually just destroy each other. You'll see a little mutual destruction indicator even pop up there. And then finally for field upgrades, I wanted to point out that the TAC camera is just destroyed by an ACS. If you throw an ACS near a TAC camera, it just takes it out immediately. As for all of the other ones, the ACS just doesn't interact with them at all. So like TAC insert doesn't do anything. Munitions box or med boxes, it doesn't do anything to those either. The recon drone doesn't do anything there. So yeah, just the ones I listed are affected by the ACS. And this made me want to test one last thing, and this is placeable score streaks or kill streaks. So I tested against the sentry gun, the guardian, as well as the cluster mine. And thankfully, the ACS doesn't interact with these at all. So you can't just steal someone's sentry gun with your field upgrade. I think that would be a little ridiculous. So yeah, I just want to point out it doesn't interact with those at all. And there we go. At this point, I believe this is the breakdown of how the ACS is meant to work. 
And this is always how I thought the ACS worked, which means it's a pretty decent field upgrade. It can absolutely help, especially in domination. If you're playing solo and you're really trying to carry a team, it's nice to be able to cap flags twice as fast by just throwing this down on the flag with you. However, there's one very important characteristic to note in Domination specifically that I believe is broken. I'm pretty sure this is a bug and therefore hopefully this will get fixed at some point in the not too distant future. And this is the fact that, well, you do have to get the ACS fairly close to that flagpole in order to capture that flag. It appears it's only calculating the horizontal distance between the flag and the ACS. It doesn't account for vertical distance. And what this means is for any of the flags in Domination that you have access to an area above or below the flag, even though you can't capture that flag for yourself in that position, you can throw an ACS down and it will capture the flag from that point. And this is absolutely broken. I'm going to go through and show you guys a bunch of these flags in Domination where you have access either directly below or directly above the flag where you can just pop an ACS down and from there you can either contest that flag to make it really hard and confusing for enemies to capture that flag or you can just use it to capture the flag for yourself without actually having to expose yourself at all to that flag location for the people that are actively defending that flag. And as you can probably tell, these are some incredibly useful spots that are going to be a complete game changer on some maps in Domination. Now, like I said, this only works for flags where you have access either directly above or below the flag. So some maps don't have any flags like that, so you can't really take advantage of this trick. And then for other maps, maybe it's just one flag or two flags where you have access to that. But in either case, this is something I definitely wanted to make sure you guys were aware of because this is pretty crazy in Domination. Now, I do keep stating that this is in Domination specifically because it doesn't work the same in Hardpoint or Control. And in those game modes, you do have to actually use the ACS on the point itself. And there we go. That is going to wrap it up for the full breakdown of the ACS in Modern Warfare 3. And when it comes to my thoughts on this field upgrade, Honestly, for the areas where it appears to be working as intended, like ignoring that domination bug, I'm going to call it a bug, I'm just assuming it is a bug, I actually think the ACS is a very interesting field upgrade. Initially, when I first heard about this, when they first mentioned they'd be adding it, I was very skeptical and I didn't like the sound of it. However, I do think they've balanced it quite nicely. It's not like they charge up extremely fast, so you're not going to be getting these like several times a minute or anything on a regular basis. And it only lasts for that 11 seconds, so you can't just throw it on a domination flag and have it basically defend that flag for a minute or so. And then on top of that, they made it quite visible and easy to destroy. It's pretty hard to miss an ACS when it's on an objective. It's going to be there and it has a flashing red light on it. It's pretty easy to see them and it's pretty easy to just shoot them as well. So yeah, I actually came around to this field upgrade. I think they balanced it quite well outside of that apparent bug in domination which I do hope they manage to fix because I don't think you should be able to cap flags in situations like that because you don't have to put yourself in any real risk to do that. But of course, these are just my opinions on the ACS field upgrade, and this is where I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about the ACS in Modern Warfare 3 so far? Do you generally like this field upgrade, or not so much? Do you think it shouldn't have been added to the game? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.